This is Bumper to Bumper TV. It may be a matter of timing, coincidence, or good planning. But the latest edition of the Cadillac SRX is synonymous with the new, leaner corporate profile of General Motors. The 2K10 version is smaller and more nimble than its predecessor, while still a little larger than the successful Equinox GMC Terrain platform. As a luxury crossover, the SRX manages to retain the Cadillac style with a well-done interior, offering amenities like video monitors built into the back of the front seat headrest. And a look at the center stack reveals a high level of detail with improved fit and finish. But under the hood is where the once lethargic brand has really reinvented itself. There are now two engines and two drivetrains offered in the SRX. The basic 3-liter GM V6 with direct injection delivers 265 horsepower and 223 foot-pounds of torque. A second choice is a 2.8-liter turbocharged V6 offering 300 horsepower and 295 foot-pounds of torque. The drivetrains range from the GM built and designed 6-speed front-wheel drive automatic to an all-wheel drive Azen Warner 6-speed automatic gearbox. Having tested both vehicles, we lean toward the front-wheel drive version for fuel efficiency. But the all-wheel drive version proved itself very capable during a rare snowstorm in North Georgia. Both systems were superior to the previous SRX, which was somewhat less nimble. After a week of driving, the big question in our minds was, will Cadillac consider putting its proposed V6 plug-in hybrid power plant in the SRX? Such a move would give the brand a green luxury crossover. This is Greg Morrison. We want to know what you think, so email us. The address is bumper to bumper TV at cs.com.